I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are or why you're sending these kind of orders. There's, there's, I wouldn't even start my car for that much. I, I wouldn't even unlock my car for $3. What is up? It's a little bit windy today, but it's nice and sunny. Did I tell you guys my daughter turned five years old yesterday and I had a birthday party for her? And it turned out great. Today is a DoorDash day. Let it be a $150 day. Working 3 o'clock to 10 o'clock and let's see what we do. We are at the gas pump, so I'll tell you what I recently did. Locking gas cap. I just spent about $30 and some change on gas that six months ago would have cost me about 15 bucks. But that's okay. I'm glad I'm, I'm grateful that I have the money to pay for the gas that I'm currently putting in my car. And we are in our hot spot. We are on our way to get our first order for someone named Hillary at Jack in the Box. $7.25 for one mile. Uh, no big deal. Let's do it. Let's start it off. But I'm at Safeway and that's where I like to be because on Sundays the Safeway orders come in. I guess people must buy groceries for the week and those those orders usually range anywhere from about 25 bucks to maybe 40 bucks. Uh, so I'm expecting some of those today. I, I hope uh, I hope to get some of those today. Orange cream. Was it? You saw me there in Safeway because uh, looking bewildered. I could not find the orange cream tonic water they were looking for. But uh, DoorDash refunded the money. There's a new system that at least is happening to me when I do these Safeway orders. It used to be where if it didn't have an item you would click item unavailable and then you would contact the customer. But now DoorDash is doing that for me so when there's an item that's unavailable Sorry if my camera's shaking. If there's an item that's unavailable, I'll click item unavailable, but then DoorDash contacts the customer. That's new. That's just been implemented, I feel like, the last couple times that I've gotten those orders to a grocery shop. Uh, which is convenient, but I don't mind either way. If I have to get a hold of the customer or DoorDash does, either way. Uh, it does save on time because the customer doesn't reply it obviously takes longer, so it on a stacked order, y'all. Hit the light jacket. Hello, I'm door dashing for Jennifer. Now I'm I'm not I got a stacked order. And we'll see that. I'm not at the other business, it's across the street, but I'm gonna click it that I'm there. I arrived. The stacked order fifteen dollars, three point something miles. I got my cooler on my laptop. Thank you. So sweet, my goodness. Let me see what I got in my cooler. I like to bring fruit. Let's see. Oh, I got chipotle chips. Chipotle chips. Carrots, Gatorade, Apple, rinsed. I'm gonna have some of these chipotle, some, some chipotle chips.
Okay, we're going to hit them with that stacked order. A lot of stacked orders today. Bam, bam, bam. So we'll get those done. Get those delivered and keep going. I'm not exactly sure about this order that just came in. I want to know what you guys think, okay? So it's Panera and it's Black Bear Diner, 1225. Someone's texting me, sorry. Five miles. I don't know, that's a tricky one, you guys, huh? Um, five items, five miles, 1225, two different spots. You know what? Um, it looks like it's two houses. What is that? Stockton Street? Bear Diner and that Black Bear Diner on this stacked order and they were out of apple cobbler so they say can you text the customer and tell them we're out of apple cobbler we only have blackberry etc which I did and I waited and I was thinking you know it would be a great idea is if they could somehow like the restaurant could somehow be in contact with the customer and already have had that uh, conversation with the customer or have let me know ahead of time before I got here and I could have already texted the customer because I never heard from the customer and now I made that executive decision to just get the Blackberry Cobbler. I am about to... In 1,000 feet, turn right onto Wario Lane. I'm about to roll up to the customer that gets the Blackberry Cobbler, not the Apple Cobbler. Didn't respond to my text and guess what it's a hand it to me order so that makes me feel a little insecure but I'm gonna do it next right onto Wario Lane then your destination will be on the left. left I uh, am never too confident about taking my camera up there with me but she was okay with that blackberry cobbler smells good she only paid five bucks for that order, I mean. Anyways. At least once a week, I have to uninstall the Dasher app and install it because it's like it just starts slowly acting up. $13. And uh, I'm going to click arrived at store. ramen chicken six pack that looks like the right thing now that safe we ordered that was an easy one I had a little bit of trouble finding the Walnut halves, walnut halves, two bags of that. It was in the produce aisle. And then they have an aisle dedicated to just nuts and things. You, that's where I was looking, but it was on in the produce aisle. How do you guys feel about this? I don't know. I'm really skeptical about Walmart orders. I'm, I'm, God, 
gosh, that's a long ways down there. Honestly, I'm not going to do it. It's two orders. I'm just, I can't do it. It's way into the other city. I just don't feel like it's... It was four items, though. I probably could have done that. That's all right. Another Walmart. I mean... I really don't want to do any Walmart orders. I'm sorry, DoorDash. I'm really sorry. The Walmart orders, they can just really be a toss-up. If those orders were happening like during the day on a weekday, I would have probably taken them. But I know something better will come that will be less of a wait. But sometimes Walmart is so, um, what's the word, inconsistent. One minute, one time, or one day you could go there and spend five minutes there, and the next day you could spend an hour there waiting. So, I just couldn't take those orders. I couldn't do it. I'm going to stop sign here. I don't know if he's going to go. I guess I'll go. One thing I wanted to add was is that I, I really, I decipher and dissect my orders in a way where I want $2 a mile. But that's kind of old. Gas has shot up so much, I need almost $3 a mile. So if I'm going to go 12 miles, I want 36 bucks to go 12 miles. Can you believe that? How does that sound? Uh, that's just how it is. That's how much gas is predicting a lot of my the way I predict my orders. The gas prices have predicted my orders. Uh, I'm, I, I'm sad to say. Another Jack in the Box order. Got another Jack in the Box. I take Jack in the Box over a $6.75 Jack in the Box order over $26 to go into the next city with Walmart. This is some goat milk chapstick. A friend of mine makes uh, a lot of their products from goat milk. Soap, chapstick, other things. What else do they make? Lotion, I think. So, yeah. That's pretty cool, right? I've never tried goat milk. I wonder what it tastes like. Would you put it in your cereal? You should try buying goat milk sometime and see if it's any good. Uh, I made about $70 here today. And uh, it was a nice day. The weather was good. That made it nice. I hope you enjoy the video. Like and subscribe to my channel. 